Now that we've got WordPress installed, it's time to determine what our site's goals need to be. We want to provide activities for our readers. We want to provide content for our readers. And we need to determine what we want our site to be once we have everything installed. But they must be relevant. We don't want a plugin that, say, displays sports news on a financial website. It's completely irrelevant. They don't go together. So we don't want to put something that may appeal to us personally, but has nothing to do with the content of our website. We don't want that on our website. We must add something of value to the site. If it's something sundry and nothing that people will actually use and novelties, on the other hand, novelties are generally frowned upon because they don't add any substance to the site. We need to add substance to our website. It has to work well. Not all plugins work well, and we need to find plugins that do. We want to read reviews. We want to try it out in a test install of WordPress, which I recommend that you do anytime you're looking at a new plugin or anything. You don't want to install that on your live site. You want to install it on a backup site. Just install a second version of WordPress in a subdirectory of the first and install it there. Make sure it works. Make sure it doesn't break anything and make sure it behaves as you expect it to behave. And it must be well integrated. There are some things that you can do with WordPress that just don't look right in WordPress. And a lot of that is third party integration. For instance, one of the things that I've noticed that does not work very well is integrating the Amazon store through the code that Amazon gives you. Yes, it gives you an Amazon store, but it gives you a very limited web app version of the store that is very difficult to navigate. It's very difficult to read sometimes and just generally is not a good experience for anyone looking to buy something and anytime someone's looking to buy something you want to give them a good experience so we have to work on everything being well integrated with our site some of the site features include consumables social media and e-commerce consumables are going to be anything that our viewers can consume that's video galleries it's documents that's pictures it's things like that social media there's integrating our own facebook and twitter into our content somehow usually in the form of a sidebar widget there is integrated comments which is great if you have a facebook page because it allows you to associate your posts with your posts on facebook that way you can have both comments on your website and comments on your Facebook and they both comment to the same place and it's all very organized neat and integrated with each other and buddy press and forums and, and things like that we can integrate some social media into our own site and try to make our own site a social media site or at least give it some social media features and finally of course there's e-commerce in e-commerce, we're going to stick to shops and ads. That's going to be Amazon shops, eBay shops, that kind of thing. I'm not going to build a shopping cart in this demonstration, but by all means, if that is one of your goals, you should make that one of your goals. And ads. We will, of course, put ads on our site to generate what little income can come from ads. Our features are going to be a magazine slash blog, which is just going to be the standard WordPress functionality, a video gallery, an image gallery, some question and answer forums similar to stackexchange.com, and an Amazon store. So we're going to work on focusing on these features for our gardening site. And once we have these features running, we can then view which ones of them our readers respond to the most and focus on those and maybe even get rid of some of the ones 
that our readers are less interested in. You want to monitor where your readers are going and what they're doing on your site. That way you can determine what they like and you can give them more of that. In our next video, we'll be looking at choosing and customizing the theme now that we have our goals set up and we can be ready to move forward.